Hello, so today I am in Mostar, which is so exciting. I got the train down from Sarajevo. Um, it was such a scenic train journey. Absolutely loved it. Um, and now I'm in the beautiful town of Mostar and I'm so excited to explore and get to know this place. I'm here for a few days, so really gonna get into it and learn all about it. <laughs> You have no idea how excited I was to explore Mostar. This place has been on my list forever. And I started off my morning by having an orange juice with a pretty view, which you can see now I was sat uh, opposite the bridge. And then while I waited for it to be a more appropriate time to check into my hostel, I just chilled along the river. I found a nice spot to just relax and take in the views because how is this the village itself or the city, the town? I don't really know what to call it. But later on, I just went and sat by the riverbank and really, really just took the time to appreciate where I was and appreciate the moment. I have found the most perfect spot. I am just under the bridge. There's lots of people around actually, but I'm a little bit further to the side so I can get away from all the busyness and I still got such a beautiful view. So starting on my right, we have this bridge and the river and then we've got buildings and the boat and I'm just sitting by the riverbank basically well it's not really a riverbank I don't know what if it's still called a riverbank but anyway there's the bridge the famous bridge and the boat next to it you can actually take um, a ride on the boats but they're like 10 euros for 10 minutes I'm not sure it's worth it at least for me I've been on many boats like that before in my life um, and I think the view probably isn't that different from I don't know why it's green. Uh, it's actually not that green when you open it up. Why is it like this? It's so solid. Oh, I hope this wasn't a mistake. Right. So I made myself a little sandwich. By sandwich, I literally mean bread, hummus and paprika crisps. Not the healthiest, I know, but I needed a snack. I was about to go on a tour and I promise you I went for a proper meal later on that evening. I just needed a quick snack before going on a two and a half hour walking tour. So after the tour, I decided to go get some food and this is what I had. It was kind of like chavapi and sausages and some salad. It was vegetarian, so yeah, I can't give you my opinion on chavapi. Um, but I thought I'd try it out again. I had it in um, Belgrade, but I thought I'd give the vegetarian ones another go. As you can see from my expression, it wasn't really life-changing. I feel like it's one of those things that just a vegetarian slash vegan version just won't compare. The next day, I did probably one of my favorite activities ever. I went to one of the local coppersmiths and had a bit of a workshop, had a go at it myself. And you guys know I absolutely love trying out new things. And I've made jewellery before, I really, really enjoy making jewellery, but I've never tried anything like this. And it was so interesting to go through the whole process from stamping the piece of copper to going through the process of uh, heating it and yeah, setting it, lacquering it, which you can see through these videos. Now, this is a service that I found because I was talking to locals. So if you are in Mostar, you will see loads of shops selling copper jewelry. And I just went in to one of the shops and I was talking to the girls there making jewelry. And I, I was just really interested in the process. They showed me what they were doing um, and they recommended I come to this shop to have a workshop thing um and to have a go at it myself so i did the stamping and i created the pattern that i wanted but then the guys there 
showed me and talked me through the rest of the process. This was probably one of my favorite things that I did. I felt so satisfied afterwards and I had such a rush from it. Um, and I feel like not many people do this, but I would definitely recommend um, coming here. It should be total black. Okay. Uh, is that what makes the black in the yes, in the in, in the shade? Also, the people there were very kind, welcoming, and patient. I must admit, I was not good at it at all. I was terrible at stamping it. I wasn't holding the hammer very well to say I am an engineer and I do practical, hands-on work. It was quite embarrassing, to be honest um at how bad I was holding the hammer but I got the hang of it later on when I stopped filming and I had less distractions and things going on so five more minutes and you'll be ready yes so now it just needs to dry <coughs> yeah. yeah need to dry and need to like every 15 seconds <laughs> <laughs> move so don't stay like uh, okay on the paper yeah so as you guys have just seen, I was doing a coppersmith workshop with a local coppersmith. That was so much fun and I didn't even know that was a thing that you could do. Um, but I know it, it is a thing generally, but um, I wasn't planning on doing this at all. I was just, I bought myself like this ring from one of the shops here that uh, they, they work with copper and uh, I was saying, I, we were talking a little bit and I was just saying that like I generally like to make jewellery um, and um, the, the lady making the rings and earrings was showing me how she was doing it and she was like you can actually like have a go um, and gave me the name of a different coppersmith um, so I went to his shop and uh, yeah he let me have a go and I had like this whole like workshop experience thing I made this bracelet and I totally recommend doing something like this it's so much fun learning a local craft and supporting the local businesses and also it's just so much fun um, like I don't know if you can tell but I'm buzzing like dopamine is like being released like crazy um, but yeah so I'm also like I'm buzzing and I feel on top of the world but I'm also very very hungry so I've just come to a place um, this, is, this is what the name is I have no idea how to even start to attempt to pronounce that um, but I got a vegetarian grill so I'm just going to show you there's a lot of fries but under the fries there's some vegetables so balances it out um, I really want to eat dolma it's like one of my favourite dishes, like stuffed vegetables. It's ironic that I'm saying that now. It used to be my most hated dish. I didn't eat it for 10 years um, because I hated it so much. I make it at home sometimes and it's one of my favourite dishes. And I just want to try the local variation. The, um, so I've been to so many places trying to get it and they're always out or they don't have a vegetarian version. So I came here and yeah, suddenly they, they, they have meat in their dolma, um, which is the traditional way to make it, to be fair. These vegetables are good though. That's not a vegetable though. That's chicken. there's no more chicken it's okay oh he's a pro So myself and some other people that I met through the hostel, 
went to a place called Sniper's Tower and uh, it has quite a dark history. It is an abandoned building and not maintained. So if you do visit, be careful and make sure you leave before it actually gets dark. The next day, I was set to go on a tour with my hostel. I was staying at Hostel Nina, which I totally recommend. They provide a tour um, of the Herzegovina uh, region. Um, it's about 40 euros, if I remember correctly, maybe 50. I don't remember off the top of my head, to be honest. They definitely make this a really good trip and definitely worth it, especially on a nice day. Among many other spots, this tour did also include a trip to Kravica Waterfalls, which was really nice, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. I do think it's a little bit overhyped. Don't get me wrong. The waterfalls are stunning and it is quite an impressive landscape, but it is also quite busy. And, um, I don't know, I feel like it didn't quite live up to the expectations I had. But maybe my expectations were a little bit too high. I am glad I went. I definitely would be sad if I hadn't gone. But I made lots of new friends on this day. And that is probably the highlight for me of this day out. All the friends that I made along the way. And, yeah. Okay, so I kind of ended this vlog a bit abruptly. So I'm just going to say goodbye. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to see more, I have a playlist linked on screen with the rest of my Balkans vlogs. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time in Montenegro. Bye.